Well, it has never been relevant in the state of Oklahoma before. It could start to become relevant in the coming years or even sooner. Hi, this is Keith May with Keller Williams Realty. I'm a 25-year realtor with Keller Williams in Central Oklahoma. And today we are talking about solar and solar panels regarding residential real estate. Now, if you live anywhere in Central Oklahoma, you may have noticed, probably have, that your electric bill has increased as much as 30% or more in central Oklahoma and that is according to the US Energy Information Administration. The same administration says that Oklahoma's increase in electricity and energy leads the country uh, during that time. Uh, since 2022, been about five rate increases uh, minimum according to some pu publications and the, the same administration now you can make statistics say whatever you want them uh, to say of course uh, from a utility company standpoint from a solar company standpoint from a, a legislative body standpoint a consumer standpoint a bottom line a fuel which goes towards making electricity is a lot more expensive. Inflation, it costs more to provide power to your house and it will only cost more going forward in the future. The old saying is necessity is the mother of invention and that's what we're going to be getting into a little bit more in the video. At the end of the video, I'll tell you if your house is going to be worth more if you have solar panels uh, put on them or around them. Solar, of course, is not a new invention. The recent cost-benefit equation, though, is more relevant than ever now. Uh, a solar company will call it maybe creating assets from expenses. Specifically, net metering allows you to send extra solar energy that your solar system generates back into the electrical grid. In return, you'll earn credits that you can use to offset the cost of electricity you pull from the grid in the future. Anything extra, you can sometimes store in a battery too and use it later. One of the big keys to getting solar is who your utility provider is. Simply put, some are solar friendly, some are not, and everything else in between. The friendliness has to do with the credits they give you, the maximum credits, and if you are allowed to roll forward the unused credits. Contact me in the link below and I can provide you other resources for solar as it regards to your residential real estate. There are 70 electric providers in the state of Oklahoma, 77 counties, some big companies co-ops, some large ones. And my research suggests that OG&E, which many people in central Oklahoma have as their electric provider and going farther east into the state is by far the most solar friendly in the state of Oklahoma and they allow you to carry your credits forward that are unused. And many people that will be watching this video are in Edmond, Oklahoma, of course. Edmond Electric is the provider. Uh, they are not as solar friendly and they do not allow you to carry your credits forward currently. Now for some of the cons of solar. Well, you gotta buy the equipment and you can lease it to. You gotta do maintenance from time to time. In Oklahoma, we have storms, we have tornadoes, hail and wind causing roofs to be damaged and sometimes you have to replace them. And if you have them on your roof, of course you gotta take them off and put them back on. Now, will your insurance pay for that? Well, you wanna check your policy on that 
maybe get a rider, which of course is would be extra uh, expense. The equipment is not cheap. Many people get a loan on it. You can pay cash for it too, depending on the size of your house and the usage history. Uh, you're probably going to spend at least twenty thousand dollars on equipment for for most uh, medium uh, sized houses in Oklahoma. One of the best ways to pay for it is with a, a HELOC loan. If you do that right, you can maybe deduct some of the interest on that. Now, you definitely want to connect with a good solar company if you're looking into solar to get a cost analysis equation based on your usage, based on the size of your house, and in the link of this video, I'm going to provide you uh, a local company uh, you could talk to if you like to do that. And with all things, I always recommend a local companies. By the way, the solar panels these days are not as big and ugly as you may think they are, as you remember they are. They keep a much lower profile, they're sleeker, generally black. Uh, more attractive, more modern looking, not, uh, not quite as scary as, uh, again, some people, including myself, think. Many people keep them uh, tucked on the back side of their house so you can't even see them, so you could be surprised how many people have them that, that you don't know. Now for some other credits for solar. It can take pressure and would take pressure off the uh, near 100-year-old electrical grid uh, in this country, which is oftentimes made up of, uh, of mom and pop uh, uh, co-ops around the country and uh, can be sustainable. Also, the tax credits is a big pro of solar. Currently, there is a 30% federal uh, tax credit for solar that runs uh, through the year 2023. Currently, contact your tax professional for uh, how that works uh, and also you know the car aspect of it many manufacturers in this country and around the world are making more and more electric only vehicles in the next 10 and 15 years I was surprised to learn that many of America's automakers some of them actually have goals of going 100% uh, electric so if you have an electric car, well, you're going to need to plug it in at your house overnight sometimes. That uses a lot of electricity. A couple of other basics on solar. You want the solar panels to face south or west, and you won't find too many panels that faced the east or definitely uh, the north. Also, if you have solar panels or you put solar panels on, normally you're going to leave those solar panels for the, the next homeowner. Most people don't take them with them. Uh, the cost of that and the trouble for that uh, it can be a lot, although it, it could be done. Now for the proverbial question, does it increase the value of your home? I've been asked this question more and more the last few years, which is one of the genesis is for this uh, video. Well, be careful believing that your house value is going to go up significantly if uh, you put solar panels in. Maybe a little bit, you spend 20, 30,000 on some solar equipment. You might get a third of that back if you sell your house now. Maybe a little bit more. There's simply not enough information uh, to go on. There's not a lot of houses that have solar in central Oklahoma or Oklahoma anywhere. So you can't really uh, say the house is going to go up a certain percentage. Obviously, people that sell solar are more likely to tell you it, it, it will. Again, I would be very careful, and I have not uh, seen that. And by the way, uh, less than one half of one percent of all houses 
have solar here. Less than that actually, I don't know the exact amount, but less than one half of one percent is a very low amount. No question that's going uh, to go up in the future. Uh, in 25 years of selling real estate, I've never sold a house that has solar panels. I don't believe and I can only recall even showing one or two houses that has solar. I do hope that this video has been useful uh, to you and provides value. Uh, if so, please consider subscribing uh, to my YouTube channel. We put out relevant content affecting central Oklahoma uh, homeowners. Also, share it with your friends that are uh, looking at the aspects of solar. I'd love for you to call me too. The old fashioned way, 405 833 2626. And check out uh, this other uh, video I have regarding the cost to sell a property in Oklahoma. And bye!